In this video, we're going to look at how to continue both a number pattern and a shape pattern. The first rule to finishing these patterns is to find the rule that the patterns use. And the way I like to do that is I like to see what happens between one number and the next. So, let's start at the top. We go from 4 to 6. How did we get from 4 to 6? Well, in this case, we have to add 2. Then we go from 6 to 9. To go from 6 to 9, we added 3. From 9 to 13, we have to add 4. Now I have found my pattern. Plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. This next will be plus 5, then plus 6, and plus 7. You can see we're adding by one more each time. So let's fill out the rest of the pattern. 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 plus 6 is 24 and 24 plus 7 is 31. Now a shape pattern is kind of interesting. You just try to look for what the pattern is doing. How does it repeat? And I like to do this by giving a number to each shape. So we're going to say that the triangles are number 1, the square is the number 2, and the circle is the number 3. And then we're going to keep that. And I see here that I have a pattern. 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3. Which means that our next will be 1 was a triangle, 2 was the square, and 3 was a circle. By putting numbers next to it, it's actually kind of easy to see wh what should come next. You could also say out the pattern out loud, and you'll probably pick up on it. Triangle, triangle, square, circle. Triangle, triangle, square, circle. So either saying it verbally or giving a number to each shape will help you figure out the rest of the pattern.